Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. Today's episode, I finally got a hold of the Dream Aerial, which is part of the latest expansion that came out um, for the freighters. And the freighters got overhauled, which is awesome. Um, as you saw, I did do the expedition. We did complete the expedition, so we gotta collect those rewards as well. But, we gotta grab ourselves our living frigate. A second one. Because, you know, we got one from one of the expeditions. As you can see here, I'm on the bridge. Well, in order to craft a dream aerial, you need three living glass and one solar mirror. Now, to pop the dream aerial, if you start a brand new game, it'll be easy for you to pop. Captain Steve, on his channel, he goes over how to pop it on a legacy save. Which is pretty much a save that's been around longer than pretty much the last three or four patches. So, once you create the dream aerial, you just have to create one and you're done and you're ready to roll. I will be having another episode out of how to do items. So, if you need to get some stuff, you can dupe it. And I'll have an episode out for that if it, I didn't already put that out. So, um, stay tuned for that, or hope you like that. <laughs> Depends on when I put it out. I'm still debating when to put it out. So, Dream Ariel, like I said, allows you to hunt down living frigates, and I want to create our fleet full of living frigates. Because I'll show you what you get from it, which is awesome. So, go ahead, let's go to the hangar. Uh, where's our teleporter? Now you can teleport directly to your hangar. Which is awesome. We are going to take our living ship on this ride. This time. So, yeah, I still got that crash ship I need to get rid of. Um... Let's see what we got in our current ship. If we need to move anything over. Uh, tch, tch, tch. Whoa. Hmm. So, we're going to use our living ship for this. As you can see, I got storage sacks. Got the organ chamber, which, wow, that's definitely increased. I remember it being a lot smaller. No, it's about the same size. And we got our inflated sack, which is pretty much, um, uh, a cargo storage area. So, let's go ahead and create our dream aerial. You can use it more than once. Um, you do need an anomaly detector, um, to get it to activate again. First time, it's just the Dream Aerial. There we go. As you see in the bottom right, it says we have to get out into space, and we have to pulse. So, like I said, we're taking our living ship out. Gotta get away from our ship, and let's go collect our living frigate. Our second one. There it is. And to get out of pulse, all you have to do is tap, for me, I'm playing on PC, spacebar. But you basically tap your pulse button again. This one's got long entrails. Let's 
stream together. And this part, if you don't know, is from the expedition. We are going to divert power to hyperdrive to get the hell out for the pirates attack. Reality. Let's see what we got. It's a dock. Not bad. A five industrial, four ex exploration, two combat, two trade. Um, pack bus static, thrifty, ground pass alert. How much for fuel? We Ooh. Graceful agility, negative two to expedition dura duration. Low metabolism, negative fifteen expedition fuel cost. So in short, this is almost good for expedition. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add him to our fleet. refuse to comply and get the hell out of here. I'll see you back when we get to the ship.
Alright, we're back. Uh, kidney station overrides were illegal goods. So, yeah, I need to get rid of them off my person. So, with that being said... Alrighty guys, I'm back. Got took care of that. I should be good. Um, when you do expeditions with your living sh living frigates, you'll get a chance of getting uh, psychonic eggs, um, which are basically technology and upgrades you can get for your living ship, and spawning sacks. Right. Spawning sacks actually increase your storage, organ chamber, and inflation sacks. So, let's go ahead and increase. Everything. That said, uh, let's warp to another system, and I'll show you how to get a another living freight. Uh, we'll see you when I get to a different system. Alrighty, guys. In another system, stopped up at the space station, and this is an outlaw system. So, hopefully the living freight in this one's a lot better. But how you kick it off now is you activate your anomaly detector. You pick these up from uh, asteroids. So go to an asteroid field, spend a lot of time, pick a lot of these up. So we're going to go ahead and activate this, and you're going to look for a certain symbol when doing this. Don't stop until you get this certain symbol. So let's go ahead and activate this and try to pick up another living ship. <laughs>
There it is. Low song detected. Gotcha, it looks cool. As you can see, it does take a while. Just found in a... Whoa. That one hit me. So, let's talk... Ooh, this one's a nice one. Fighterish. Oh, yeah, I like it. Well, we're definitely keeping this one. Probably nicknamed this one the Black Widow. Back to creature. Oh, very high expiration. Yeah, he may be a sea cast, but he's got a hot. And you can change his stats when you feed them. As you can see, he's going to cost 12 million. Come aboard, my friend. Come aboard. And... That's how you get living ships. Living frigates. And the wild. Like I said, you have to have anomaly. As you can see, it does take a while. Well, guys, calling that the end of this video. And I uh, hope you guys like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon. Till next time, guys.